Yo guys, what's going on? It's today here, back with another video, and guys, today we have the Season 6 Week 7 challenges, all the challenges, going through them, how to do them, the easiest way to do them, and you're gonna get them done today, so let's get right into it, but before we do get right into it, please make sure and smash the like button on this video and subscribe, because I'm going to be doing these every single week, so if you want the challenges every single week and you want to get them done first so you can show your friends, subscribe. <laughs> Anyways guys, let's get into the video. One thing I do want to say is we're going over the three free ones first and then we're going over the paid ones. But the first free one is search am seven ammo crates in a single match. Super straightforward. Seven ammo crates, single match. You can't really mess that one up unless... You can't really mess that one up. The next one on this list is deal headshot damage to opponents. You need to do 500 damage. Get the new heavy AR or the new whatever you want to call the AK, whatever you want to call it. And just dish out damage with that. It's super easy. Just land the headshots, you'll get it. This is one of the ones that you'll have to do just kind of over time as you get the headshots. That's actually what a lot of these are for these challenges. It's just kind of over time. You can't get them first, but you got to get them first because you got to get the new secret character called like the the hunter or the something like that. I don't know. You got to get them before all your friends. It's going to be the first one to have them. But anyways, that's that challenge. The next and final free one on this list actually has three stages. The first one is to deal 300 damage, damage in a single match. That's actually not difficult. Even though it says it's hard, it's really not. All you need to really do is kill at the minimum three people. At the max, at the maximum three people at full health or one and a half people with shield. Have shield. You can literally kill nobody and get this one still. It's super easy, super straightforward. Deal damage. Then the next one is deal 400 damage in a single match. Get a little bit harder. That's two people with two full shield. And then the final challenge is deal 500 damage in a single match, which is killing two people with full shield and then somebody with 100 health. Again, kind of super straightforward. These ones are just going to have to happen as you, you get like a really good game with like eight kills and you get it. Super easy. Makes sense. All right, and we are on to the battle pass challenges. So the first one on this list is you need to destroy 50 trees. Yeah, I know, that's actually irritating, and you can't leave a tree on, like, one, like, 50 HP. You have to go all the way through and finish killing the tree, which is kind of irritating, but it'll, I guess it'll help you whenever other people are trying to finish this challenge. You can go through and find out, figure out what people are a little bit easier. And then stage two of this challenge is you need to destroy 25 rocks all the way through. you got to finish them. And then the third part of this challenge is you need to go through and destroy 10, yes, 10 cars. And it doesn't matter if it's in a single match or different, just blah, 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 blah. Destroy things all the way. Fortnite's doing this. I don't know why. Maybe to get people into the habit of doing it. So you can find out what people are. I don't know. It really doesn't make sense to me. But hey, that's what Fortnite wants. And that's what Fortnite's going to get. The next one on this list is Fly Through 20 Rings. Super straightforward. As you're playing, just as you're playing games and you're dropping down, you'll see rings in the air. Just basically fall through 20 of these. Again, this is going to be one of those challenges that you can just do kind of as you play. You're not able to fall through, what, like three or four in a single match? So it should be pretty straightforward. I'm not sure if you're able to build up and go through more because of the, the new redeploying re re your glider thing. If you can do that, you could also do it like that, but it's probably easier to just do it whenever you fall off the bus. All right, guys, this is probably one of the most annoying stage challenges I have ever seen them do. First one's pretty easy. Consume five apples. Take some damage, fall damage, something like that. Eat the apples. Super straightforward, easy. I, I, I'm okay with that one. But then you need to consume bandages. Now, there's a little number 60 by it. So, I'm not sure if that means 60 health or 60 bandages. Because if that's 60 bandages, like you find bandages in sets of five. Do you know how many bandages that is? That's like... Carry the four. 60 bandages. The next one on this list is consume bandages med kits and this has a hundred next to it so if you need to consume a hundred med kits that is a lot and a lot of med kits i don't know if you could even complete that before the end of season six like i don't know anyways guys stage four is consume slurp juice is concern <laughs> Consume 50 slurp juices, and that's a lot of slurp juices. So that's what it is. That's a lot. Like that's actually so many. I don't have any. It may just be 50 health. This 50 health is easy, but it's probably 50 slurp juices, which is a lot of slurp juices. And now the easiest challenge on this list, in my opinion, is destroy. Is destroy. Is eliminate three people at Pleasant Park. Super straightforward. Just pew pew pew. Gun gun gun. Kill. Easy enough. Alright guys, and there you have it, all of the challenges for Season 6, Week 7. If you guys did enjoy and want to see more challenges and more other videos from me, please make sure 
and share the videos that are on the screen right now here and here and make sure to subscribe comment and i'll talk to you all later out